Let's match the color of this leaf from this side and from the other side. I will cut a square. This will be one side and I will cut another square for the other side of the leaf. Of course, the color of the other side is different. Here we go. Now we have two colors that I want to match. I want to start with the dark side. I will start with blue. In this case, I'm using ultramarine blue. And let's try it with a little bit of yellow, cadmium yellow. We can see that I'm very far, not even close, right? What happens if I take a little bit of brown, which is burnt umber? Oh, much closer, right? A little bit more blue. I want to reach the same value first. Most important thing is to reach the same value before I even think about the hue and the color, if it's similar, if it's different. Now I'm very close to the same, same level of darkness and brightness, but maybe a little bit of red, a touch of red, a little bit and more blue, just to warm it up a little. Now, I can see that I'm darker than this one. Now, I ask myself, what do I want? How, my only way to brighten this color is white or yellow. If I will put white, this will become chalky. So the only way I can see now is to use yellow. And I, all, I always like to use it a little bit, bit by bit, slowly. Because if I put too much yellow, then I need to go back and put more uh, blue and, you know, change everything once again. Why? If I can do it at once. More blue. Now we are very close value-wise. Now I start to play with it. Let's take a little bit of yellow. More brown. And blue. And once again, more yellow. Let's see. Ah, very close, I think. More blue and yellow. It's very dark, this side of the leaf, very, very dark. A little bit more brown and red. Too much, just a touch of red and blue. We are very, I would say, it, it's very, very similar, right? Maybe a little bit more blue and yellow. I will put a little bit of yellow. This one is still darker and a little bit more yellowish, I would say. A little bit more greenish. So I will start with a little bit of yellow. Now the question, brown or blue? I can see that it's more, more brownish. A little bit, just a touch. Very close indeed. Touch, more yellow, touch. I'm happy with it. A little bit more blue and yellow. I would say we are very, very close. Yes, good enough, I think. Maybe a little bit more blue, just to make it more vivid. 
and yellow. Each time I put yellow, it becomes much brighter than the color of the leaf. I need to control myself. Still, I want it to be darker. I will take all this blue and brown. Now it's better. Now it's much, 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 much closer. Yeah, it's very dark. It's very dark. I didn't think it will be so dark. I'm surprised. Beautiful. You see? Very, very, very close. I take this. It's very close. Very, very, very close. Maybe a little bit more yellow, just a touch. A little bit more. Beautiful. Very close. I'm happy with it. Next. Now I want to make this color. Let's put it here. This is much brighter, of course. I will start with brown. And white. Just a little bit, not too much. I will try to reach the same value. Still. A little bit of blue. And yellow. This is darker. So I can darken this mixture by using brown or blue or both. In this case, I'm seeing very, it's a little bit bluish. Let's take blue. There are two ways to darken the color. Blue or brown or both. Now mine is more brownish than this one, right? So, more blue. And a little bit of yellow. I can brighten with yellow or white or both. No other options. Only white or yellow. Only options we have to brighten a color. Still, mine is a little bit more brownish and when i say brownish i mean reddish more reddish more more earthy right so still i need more blue in this case i want to introduce cerulean blue just a little bit i think it will look better with cerulean blue it's much lighter and brighter blue now i need to ask myself do I brighten this with white, it will become chalky, or with yellow? In this case, I can see that I need both. A little bit of white, and a little bit of yellow. Let's see. This is darker still. So, brown or blue? Both, I think. More blue touch of brown. Let's see. Very close, right? Closer. Now, this still looks more yellowish to me. So why not taking a touch of white? Eh, of yellow, sorry. A touch. Maybe a little bit, just a touch more. and white. Let's see what we get. Closer. Still, this one is a little bit darker than mine. More bluish and more yellowish. 
beautiful. Still a little bit more yellowy. And blue. You see how I got here? First, I concentrated on reaching the same value, darkness and brightness. Then I started playing with the color. More hue, more yellow, more bluish. But the most important thing always is to reach the same value. Look, we are very, very, very close, right? Maybe, maybe a little bit more, just a touch, maybe. Let's see. Beautiful, beautiful. If I was painting this leaf on a canvas, this color is amazing. Beautiful, you see? Maybe a touch more of yellow, a touch. Just, you see what I'm doing? Just corrections. Beautiful, I love it. Always practice and do these exercises at home. You can't believe how this can change your life. You'll be able to translate colors easy and fast. Thank you for watching. See you next time.